Hey what's up it's me Jinard and welcome to our YouTube channel Toroyo Pro. This video is all about a do it yourself home security on a budget. All of us wants that security in our house and having a security system or that CCTV cameras installed in your house will cost you something. So if you're like me that you're in a tight budget this will work out for you making use of old webcams or extra webcams as security cameras in your house. Well, even if you have those CCTVs in your house, maybe there are some places in your house that weren't covered or maybe new locations, maybe additional garage or some parts of the house that wasn't covered with that CCTV. If you're not using those webcams, you can make use of them as security cameras. So for me, I have an old webcam that I kept away for a long time and another one that I bought before like four years ago when I started this YouTube channel. So if you try to go and check my old videos, I have some um, videos there that I used a webcam and that's what I'm going to use as a security camera here. Well, let's go and do it. I know I have an old webcam somewhere, so I went on to my old stuff and voila, I found one. So go ahead and look for yours. So this is a Microsoft Lifecam. And the second one, I know it's here because I've been using it like yeah, three years ago, so it's been around my new stuff category. So one more thing you're going to need is an old laptop or old PC that is still working. So you can use something like this, these uh, around the Vista generation. So if you have that and it's still working, you need this one so that you can save those footage that are being captured by that um, webcam. Okay. So for us, we're not going to use this one because there's no OS installed. We're just going to use my laptop for this demo. Let's plug this first webcam. And the second webcam. Plug it also. Well, if you're going to install these webcams on your house and you need to like extend that cable you can buy a usb extender and you can use it this is i think um up to five meters you can use that so that's how it looks like and yeah that's long mm -hmm. okay well after plugging all of these you will need a software to uh, monitor those footage and that's iSpy. It's an open source security software. You're not going to pay anything. So open source video surveillance software, you just click download. More about this software if you want to know more about it. Uh, there is a subscription for other features but the free version is good enough. Okay, so don't worry about it. The link for the software is there in the description below. Go ahead and click it and download. You have several options here. So you download what's, uh, what you're going to use. And as you can see, it can support up to Windows XP. So old computers, old laptops that have Windows XP, they are supported. So for me, I'm going to download what's going to be needed for this laptop. And we're going to fast forward this because it will take time depending on your internet connection again. So all we need to do is wait. And nearly done. Yahoo, there is on our desktop. Open this one. And we go ahead and install. Accept next. It's installing now. That's iSpy package installer 64 bit. So it's installing. Yep. Finish launch and it will open up. Allow access. Voila. Here is our monitoring software. Just press OK. 
and we're good to go to add camera let's add our webcam click add that's a local camera there are a lot of options you can do here you can do ip cameras but for now we're using that webcam so i'll select the first webcam i have connected click that one and then okay well there are a lot of configs here but we're going to go to the default if you have installed this one you can play along and try to see what are the features like you can schedule things here their motion detection go and explore the software because there's a lot of functionality okay so that's about it let's click here oh man that's me yeah it's of course it's working so i'm not going to do some tutorial about this uh software because if you're a diy guy then you can figure that one out let's finish this one yes so first webcam added i'll put it there the first uh, blank there was uh when i tried adding a webcam so i removed that one so the next one is the second webcam okay and then same we're going to go to the defaults here we're not going to change anything and then finish whoa see how clear it is it has the uh, same quality nearly same quality with those expensive cctv cameras now the good thing about using these webcams is they are very small and you can put them hide them on a place that cannot be seen so it can it will serve as a spy cam as we say it or maybe some sort of monitoring that nobody knows that there's a camera that there's a camera that's there that's recording everything so that's the good news about using these ones the last thing you're going to do is wire this up look for that position you want that want to be maybe in an entrance or another room another um, security camera to the place well it's up to you and if ever you need more cable length you can buy that extension cable for that usb that can go five meters i don't know if it can go 10 meters just do a quick research with that if there's a solution but for me it's five meters and that's it well it's me again Jinard. this is our youtube channel torgo pro i hope you have learned something and see you on my next video goodbye